it is, 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 yeah. Uh, it's five minutes after the hour. Here on the I'm still waiting for again. I, I heard Charles talking. And I thought I, I thought it was me, and I, I, but I, I looked on my lips yeah, weren't moving, so I knew it wasn't me. Yeah. It's five minutes after the hour here on the I'm still waiting program on the radio all over the country and on MSNBC. Do we have any big news we have to report, or we can just get right to? We can get we've right. We've been waiting for all morning. No, nope, we can we we can get right to it. I mean, there's nothing that is going to end your life or mine in the next hour that I so, can see. So, uh, please welcome to the I'm Mr. Morning program, the lead singer for Rusty Truck, Mark Seligan. Mark, how are you? How are you? I'm thank good. Thank you for so, having me, Don. Well, no, mm-hmm. thank you guys for doing yeah. this. Guys. Well, we're, we're, we're excited, and uh, we love the show, and all the guys came in. Most of the guys came in from L.A. as the band and Rusty Truck, and uh, we're just so happy to be able to be here. Thank so, you. So I've told this story a couple of times. But uh, uh, Mark is, uh, well, primarily a photographer, right? Well, that's what I do, yeah. I started with Rolling Stone. Yeah. has a couple of wonderful books. Uh, one, one I can't put up. Uh, Physiognomy. Physiognomy. If you, if you say it a lot, people will think you're real smart. It's always a good idea, uh, I tell people, when, that when, I, when I promote books, to have titles I can pronounce. <laughs> like so somebody I want to regular little league would be good, right? <laughs> anyway, it's pictures of everybody, and it, it includes one of the great photographs ever taken, which you actually told me about. Was uh, and I remember this photograph when it was first published. Johnny Cash with the guitar yeah. on his back. Yeah, that was an interesting day for me because I'd actually planned that for Tom Petty in L.A. The and, guitar on uh, the back. Yeah, and I had and I had I had set a couple of shots up, and we got behind. I ended up going to uh, Vegas to shoot Johnny, and I went to see his show before I talked to him, and I saw him throw his guitar behind his back, and it was just you know that was. That's where that picture needed to be, so that's what happened. And we did that shot the next day in a, in a hotel room. And I uh, have another photograph of him and June Carter performing together uh, that same day. So it was a pretty amazing so shoot. It, so I met Mark in this unfortunate interview I did with that buck to little rodent <laughs> Buzz Bissinger. We just take the pictures here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, it's all about the photos anyway, right? Uh, actually, I like Buzz. Uh, but anyway... Uh, so I'm, uh, Mark came out to the ranch. We were all out there. And by the way, Mark doesn't do anything. He has a crew of ten people, <laughs> and they, and all he does is occasionally walk over and push something. I well, guess. see, I have a, I have a little uh, arthritis in my finger, right. so I just I need a little help every <laughs> once in a while. But uh, for example, he took a he took a photograph of me and uh, Deidre and Wyatt, where Wyatt has a rope around uh, uh, me and Deidre, and he had a couple of the cowboys at the ranch. Oh, this is a still photograph. And we're in a rodeo arena, and so he has a couple of cowboys riding horses around, uh, loping horses behind us. And I thought, and I've taken some pictures, not obviously like that. I thought, that's kind of dopey. I didn't think it was a dopey idea. I just thought it was interesting. It turned out great. Thank you very much, yeah. Whatever happened to the railroad shot? Did that? The railroad shot we have, we're saving that one for you later. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, so Mark says, by the way, I was playing uh, Adam Duritz as Carmelita. For him. Yeah, we were, we were talking a lot right. about country music. And then he says, well, you know, I have a band. I thought, oh, boy. <laughs> well, oh, great. There we, uh, oh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He said, well, yeah, Willie's on it and Cheryl Crow and Lenny yeah, Kravitz. And sure. I was, oh, yeah, <laughs> so you were supposed to send me a copy, and he didn't. So I go to, I call, I go to Amazon, mm-hmm. and I ordered. Actually, I just tried to order one copy, but you know how you get screwed up when you order? Oh, so I got two. And I was, my, my wife and I both had it in the truck. I was stunned. Give yeah. one to her. Oh, and I did. It's perfect. <laughs> but it's a like, perfect gift. And I know Charles had a bunch of emails here from people all over the country. Yeah. It We're is very a, excited. We just went on to iTunes uh, homepage yesterday oh, no for, the, for the show. So uh, it's, very a it's, it's a great so record. It's a great record. so much. It was an absolute uh, magical thing for me to make. It, it kind of just happened out of accident, and I started writing about five years ago, and uh, it, it, it just slowly became a record. Lenny Kravitz came to a show we did, a little show at the Mint in L.A., and he said, i got to record that song with you, and we, we went over to uh, his studio in Miami a couple months later. We recorded that one song, and then just it just kind of spiraled after that. So it's just, it's just my you know, joy. I just do it because I... Enjoy playing with these guys, and music is great. So you're not going to stop taking photographs? No, I'm very happy as a photographer. Uh, Don't quit my day, day job. Yeah, but, I mean, this is, this is a great record. It's remarkable. I mean, Thank it you. Really well, I hope, I we mean, hope just, to make I'm it. Not, it's yeah. not just me saying that. No, I, th- I appreciate it. And, and like I said, uh, you know, it's, 
it's, uh, it's a good combination with photography because it's really about storytelling. You know, and the same with photography, you know, it's, it's, it's the same kind of process for me. It's just ones with words and ones with a, a visual idea. What's the deal with the Ferris wheels and all that? There's a lot of that kind of Well, energy. I grew up in Houston, and um, actually those are pretty authentic, you know, ideas for me. I grew up in Houston and, and born in Amarillo, and a lot of that stuff is, you know, kind of the, the vernacular that, that I was exposed to when I was a kid. I mean, I, I wasn't exactly like raised on a ranch, but I had no, always I... had an affinity for it. And, um, you know, so that was really part of the process for me. It was kind of pulling back from my memory and using that as a way to express those stories. Did, uh, when you did A Thousand Kisses with uh, Willie, now Willie and, and Mickey produced that, right? Mickey Raphael? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, M- Mickey had worked with us on a sh- on another song with Gillian Welch called uh, "Tangle the Fence." Oh, okay. And then he was, uh, you know, he was very complimentary, and he said, "Boy, I'd, I'd be happy to do a song sometime." And so we got together, and and uh, you know, he talked to Willie, and Willie liked the song. We sent it to him, and we went down to Texas to Willie's ranch. I'm I'm sure you're familiar with it on the golf course. And we went down there to their to their little um, studio, and we made that song, and we did it about probably for about uh, 25 minutes with Will, and he played two takes, and he goes, I think we got it. That's a good, that's a, I've never been to his ranch because I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hit, you don't want to, you want to hit the wafts of the uh, bus, the tour bus. It's just, it's all over. You're at Burger King for about two hours. People place the things. Yeah, just, just. Well, a, my, my, but, I, but I thought when I heard it, I thought, man, they, because it's, and his guitar solo. Yeah, is, it's, be, it's a beautiful. Charles, uh, Charles is, it, it a, is a great, yeah. is, a, is a wonderful pianist and. Uh, you're telling me he plays piano. Yeah. And those, we should make a new record together. We should. <laughs> okay, you're on. And those cor- those the, those chords on oh, it's got us a great record. It is well, a I'm not. Well, there's a. I think you know Willie. The great the great opportunity with him. Willie is all about phrasing, and you almost when you hear him sing, which is just like this, uh, you know, obviously very beautiful and very much about the phrasing. He seems to like playing the guitar a little bit better. You can no. hear him. He's always like finishing singing, so he can go back and play the guitar, and that's. Uh, <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Well, you were very nice to me and uh, Deirdre and Wyatt. We, when we, we had, really enjoyed coming out to the ranch. And, and we, we had a lot of fun doing we it. It was a fun day. In that fact, was I, a told, blast. I forget who I told. So I, because they always think that everything I do, I think, is a pain in the ass, which I don't. But we had more fun that day. It was great. Well, Don, you know, it's, uh, it, was a, it was a great pleasure. And you know, sincerely, it's wonderful what you're doing out there, too. I think the ranch is a really important place. Well, thank you. Well, ha- I'm happy you came in. And I'm not going to take up any more time. Well, we'll give you a chance to play from now until 9 o'clock. So, well, wonderful. Uh, Thank co- you very much. Oh, you're quite welcome. Uh, Coming up next, uh, Rusty Truck. Thank you.